Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing right now? Oh, boy. So, um, there's a challenge out there to all of us model car YouTubers that's sent out by HobbyDude007, and he wants to check out what my tool is. What? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I the tools that I use for the hobby, he wants to see them. And I, I got them all right here, and I, I'm going to show you guys. So, uh, in the words of Tim Brown, I'm going to steal his words because I'm unscrupulous as all. Everybody knows that. I'm just no good. I'm the Lucasy. Let's get the camera turned around. And we're going to look down at my blue mat. Not green. I have a blue cutting mat on account of it's uh, Andy's hobby head. I got a plug. I'll plug them. Do I have... Hey, I got this. Right. Look, there we go. I throw it over there because he's got a tank on it, not a not a car. But yeah. So, we can't count our cutting mats as one of our tools. Okay. I, all right. All right. We'll, we'll go with that. Let's take a look at the tools that Lucas C. uses when he's building his wonderful, beautiful, absolutely outstanding creations that he does. Right? Sure. Let's do this. Okay, now I have a really a lot of tools that I'd love to show you. And I have some that are like my really, really favorite ones. And those are kind of the ones I'm going to focus on. Well, it, it's really the ones that like my main ones I go to when I start on a project I'm really working on this project I want to do the best work that I can on this said project because you know I take my model building really 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 seriously it's like crazy serious so I get nothing but the best I only get the best tools and it's all cool and it's like you know mark goes on and on about you know hobby knives and i've got hobby knife you know and uh i still don't have my little luca but i do have these two hobby knives and i kind of you know well you know we've talked about those before but you know what forget those i've got much better tools i use in building my beautiful wonderful award-winning creations that makes everyone jealous because that's how i roll I'm that kind of model builder. I just make everyone jealous. And I'll start off, I'm going to, like, one of my main tools, I got, I got them all right here. I, I usually kind of, like, when you got to do serious cuts, like, like you're, you're doing a, a model, you're doing a chop top, you got to have the right razor saw, right? I got it right there, baby. This was my grandpa's, so it means a lot to me. My grandpa used to build train models. So, you know, that's where I get it from. And um, I don't really know if he worked on his trains with this. And I, I don't really, I don't know, but this thing gets the job done. When I want to chop a top, oh my goodness, do I have a model body around here? Let's see. I was working on, let's see, what do we got? We got something around here, right? I got, oh, here we go. The old Dodge here that I'm getting ready to work on. I could just, it just works really good, right? Well, it, it was, it, well, you know, that's how things work out. Anyways, let's move along. Next tool. I got a whole bunch here. Um, now, I know people cringe when they see how I use hobby knife to remove things from, you know, the sprues. That's what I do because I really, I I don't know. I didn't really want to let you guys see the tool that I actually use to remove, you know, uh, parts off of the sprue tree. I, I, I it was really, I kind of was hiding this. I don't know if I want to show you this. It's kind of like, well, I don't know. I don't want everybody to know because I kind of don't want my secrets out. I'm really, really a secretive model builder. And I kind of will, you come up and meet me. How do I do that? And usually if I'm going to tell you something, uh, how I did something, because I, I want to seem like the nice guy, I'm going to sit there and tell you whatever you want to hear. And I'm going to come up with the most ridiculous story on how I made a certain thing or how I did something on my model car. Just so I look good. But really, I'm probably more than likely lying to you. But I, I got these right here. These are my, my, my nibs. You guys have been giving me such a hard time. But I actually do have these nibs to take off model car parts. Let's see. I, I got to 
trim this it trims real well you see that look at that it, do, see the thing it flew it flew away ah i got this pre-painted let's see let's get this this is just ah jeez there we go see it does the job it does a great job that that's that okay yeah now Next thing, uh, lots of times when I'm kind of, you know, you, you get a built up, right? Okay, you get a built up, like said built up here, this this old vintage Johan, uh, and you want to bust it apart, right? I have tools to break built ups apart so I can rebuild them, and I've got this really nice chisel, and I, I got this little hammer here. Man, they do the job. Let's, let's see, watch how this just... Are you, let's see. Let me get 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 a good shot here, so you can see me see me working hard on this. Because we can we can we can really let's get this. I I think I got the carburetor off. Or was the carburetor already off? I I got I I do have another tool. It's like lots of times I like to do fabricating, and I cut like plastic and stuff like that. Let's see if we can get a piece of plastic here. I'm a little disorganized. I'm sorry. Uh, Let's see, we we got, you know, you got your sheet plastic, and you want to fabricate something to work on your model. I showed those tubs that I made on the uh, on the GTX when I was building the X, and uh, I kind of did a little bit of magic again, not really wanting you guys to see what I really use, and I kind of you know measured it out, and I took. This kind of this is always an impressive tool. A lot of people are always asking, "Where'd you get this from?" It's it's really all show. It, it's not really the stuff you know. And I'll say, "Oh, I'll measure it out and I'll scribe across." And I'll, no, that's not really how I do it. I don't use this garbage. Tin snips do the job. Watch this beautiful cut. You just find exactly. You get an idea where you want, and you just go. <laughs> See, and it sends it friggin' seaworthy. I don't know where it went, but we get the job done. And let, I'm going to show you, I don't know if you call this a tool, it's probably more material, but this is like the last thing. It's like, you know, when you're, when you're working on a, a really nice model, you've got a nice model. Uh, let's see if I have a nice model here. Uh, okay, let's look at this nice model I have right here. The Chicken Pit Special. Okay, it's a little dirty. Stop judging me. Anyways, I want to do a little work on this thing. Like when I was working on it, you know, there's not a problem with the rear end. Don't, don't, don't notice. But you want to like putty up something. You want to like take care of um, little scratches and nibs when, when, when you're trying to make a beautiful paint job like this. Look at how perfect that is. So, I mean, you know, this beautiful paint job, it, it doesn't just happen. It doesn't just happen. You have to do proper prep work. You know, you get these bodies. They're not perfect because, you know, these model companies, they don't know what the heck they're doing. They're, they kind of just put out with nothing but garbage. So we always got to kind of like be model builders, I guess, and fix all the imperfections on these bodies. And there's always a lot of them. So you got to use a lot of putty. And, you know, there's these putties. And, and you know, Mark, he kind of, he uses that red stuff, you know, and I, I, I have a tube of it, you know, just to be nice. I've used it on because Mark likes it. So I, I use, use this when I'm showing something on YouTube, but this is not really what I use. I don't really want you guys to see what I really use because, you know, I'm lying. So, uh, what I really, I found like the perfect thing for puttying up seams and stuff like that. It, it, it's, it does the job it does the job and it's it's right here you know you ever like you go to the auto parts store you, you could buy that red putty at the auto parts store you know like like hobby dude does whatever anyways uh what what you do is is what i like is i actually go in the tire section and i i use these uh you know tire plugs they're actually the tire plugs they have they've got fibers in them but like the goo i mean that is perfect for puttying up your model and you could do it all with just your finger. You get it all kneaded out. It does a good job. And it eventually it eventually dries. And yeah, you know, could, you could have a little problem with paint. I mean, if you wash things, and you, you could have a very nice paint job. You, you get it on these seams. You get it you get it in there. And, 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 and it, it'll, it'll, you, you work it. You got to work it. You got to work it. All right? And then you can have a beautiful paint job like this. It work, work. Yeah, it, it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? yuck okay there you go 
I did it. Go build model cars. Why? Because they're fun. Here's the producers. Producers.